Hi Dresser Kitties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw the snake emoji. So let's get started. To draw this awesome snake, let's first type by drawing a circle for the eye. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big circle. And now that I have my circle in, I'm going to come right here in the top and draw another circle for a highlight and shade everything else in. From there, let's come over the eye and I'm going to draw a curve right over to anchor the eyes. So I'm going to say start right here and I'm going to go right over the eye and come right down to create this curve right over the heads downwards. From there, I'm going to come above this curve right here, come right straight up about this much. And I'm going to draw a little hump, so kind of following that same curve right over it and then come down and as we come down we're going to come out we're going to slope it down and let's say about right here i'll stop we're going to round off this corner right here come straight down to about right there kind of like the same level as the eye and then i'm going to angle it so we're creating the mouth area right here angle it down and then soften it up about right there round it off and then we're just going to go right underneath the eye come go across like that then we're just going to pass the eye and say about right here i'm going to go up for the jaw area there and then let's come back in this area right here kind of like this point right here continuing and about right here I'm going to draw this kind of teardrop shape right here and just shade it in. So now that we have that, let's come back up here where we started this little hump and I'm going to come up right here. So it's just imagine as if this was coming through. So right here, I'm just going to draw this little hump that comes down to create the top of the head. And I'm going to bring this curve down to start the neck. Then from there, let's come back to this area. We have a nice thick coil. So say about right here, we're gonna come and start our curve. So let's bring this down. And we're gonna start and continue and follow the curve. So let's bring this down more. And as I come down about right here underneath the eye, I'm gonna curve in a little bit. So same thing here. Just follow whatever curve you make. And this one is going to come down a little bit lower. And the reason is because I'm going to be drawing a curve right here to start the coils that are folded. So right there, I'm going to cut it off. And I'm going to create this curve that comes up and comes down. So let's work on this side. I'm going to come out right here start our first coil so our coils are going to be about the same thickness as this so just keep that in mind when you're drawing that and let's bring this down right there and so let's go ahead and connect it we're just following our top whatever curve you create and up so let's start our second one come out and once again, about the same thickness in here. Let's come over here. I'm going to go up and I'm going to go ahead and connect right here and curve there. So then now we can draw our tail. So I'm going to come right about here to create our tail. So I'm going to come out and here create this tail that comes up. So curve it up and as we come over here let's just round it off a little bit and it's going to be thinner up there and it's going to get thicker as we come down and connect. There. 
all done <laughs> except of course we have a forked tongue that we need to draw so um, since I have a red sharpie here I'm just going to go ahead and use my red sharpie uh, so right here I'm going to come over here and draw the forked tongue so about right here I'm going to pop out this curve that comes out and another one that connects right in Now I'll just go ahead and thicken it up. For our tongue. There. And of course you can uh, decorate your snake however you like. But that is pretty much it for this uh, snake. And I really hope I've inspired you to draw and that made it fun and easy for you to follow along. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Q videos. See you later.